Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's prompt for Junk Journal July is reinvent. So it's the 2nd of July. So I've been thinking a little bit overnight of where this journal is heading, not really deciding too much about the contents of it, but starting to think about the cover and the, um, the way it's going to be presented. So as I said in a previous video, I have all of these pages from the original journal already cut, inked and stitched around. So I definitely want to incorporate those because, you know, I love the paper. So being the word reinvent, I thought I'd better reinvent this journal, the actual journal itself. So I was thinking about it and I've got these um, Midori style canvas covers that are plain and you decorate them up to whatever you want. Now this is one that I did probably two years ago using a napkin and um, decoupaging it onto the front with some PVA glue and then I smeared a little bit of um, gesso over it to give it that white sort of brushed look, antiqued looking and um, it was a bit of a trial because I wasn't sure how it would hold up. And it's been really durable, really good. So I think, well, I've decided that this is going to end up being my cover, not this one. So I hopped online last night and I've ordered another one, a blank canvas um, journal cover. They are made by Delusion, um, Delusions. Um, and it's part of um, uh, a journaling um, series of products that those guys make. It's a ranger is the uh, company that hosts this particular designer. And she has these plain covers, which you can then decorate. So that solves the issue of the cover and how we're going to sort of put something together, which works quite well size wise, because this was the, the piece we did yesterday. So I'm pretty happy with its size. It will fit. It won't fit under here, but I'm not too worried about that because it could even be, um, you know, put on the inside of the cover and becomes a bit of a pocket or just a feature piece or, you know, whatever. But either way, it works with the size of the cover. So really happy with Dragonfly. It could even be on the very front, which I sort of like as well. Okay, so the cover is sorted. Our original piece, our first one works. The only thing is these pieces here don't. So to reinvent today, I'm going to actually have to cut them all down. Here's one I've prepared earlier, just to make sure. Cut them down to this new size, which really is not much taken off. It brings it back down to seven inches and then it fits um, really well within the, um, the, the straps, the Midori style straps. So today, reinvent, I'm going to cut these all down to size and um, go from there. So bear with me as I grab my cutter and bring that under shot here. I'll sort of zoom up a little bit. Got a hang of a mess on my table. But um, this will be a quick little job. And once done, everything will sort of be ready to roll journal-wise. It won't matter that I have the holes already punched in these, I don't think. At the end of the day, it's my journal. It doesn't matter. So I'm just looking at the designs on these papers to make sure I've got them up the right way for a start. And then re-measuring to suit and I'll just off this original one make a mark and then just double check what that now I can't see my mark double check what that was I'm thinking it was about seven and a, an eighth of an inch let me just check that is that my mark there this paper's got so many little marks on it I just can't see mm. Goodness me, I measured this one. Yeah, seven and one eighth. That's the way to do it. Okay, that one's cut. So once again, just check the imagery to 
make sure I'm not losing anything that I really like. I think I can cut that bottom bit off of this one. Right, this guy doesn't matter. Seven and one eighth. Because they're stitched already, I'll have to restitch around the um, papers, re-ink them, and then I can slide them into. Take it from the top, slide them into the little journal. Now, I'm guessing the journal will take a, a week to get here. It's coming from Melbourne. They were hard to find. I could find plenty in America, but not so many in Australia. So I'm not even sure if it's a product that's even still readily available in their range. But I did manage to <clears throat> find one locally, which is really good. And one eighth. So reinvent today is reinventing my pages for my journal. Okay, that's really good. Now I do need to ink them so that they're all looking the same. I will need to corner round them with my rounder. I had a terrible night's sleep last night. I think it's because I decided it, that I was going to do this project and I've been, my brain's just been thinking everything Japanese. So I just didn't relax and rest. It was like my, my brain just kept going. So I think I finally got to sleep at like 3 a.m. And then Bandit and Pepper, my puppy dogs, they were like, awake at um, 5.30 saying, where's breakfast, mum? So I had to um, attend to them. And of course, once you're up, that's it for me. I'm, I'm up and of course, everything that I've been thinking about before sleep downloaded back into my brain. So I've been on my laptop all morning just looking at Japanese images, Japanese stitching, Japanese sewing, Japan, uh, maps, their beautiful handwriting, um, postage stamps, all sorts of things. Just sort of seeing, you know, getting getting my head around their style. And um, I found some free images of some stamps. I also went on to Etsy and I bought a file from uh, Tracy from Love Junk Journals. And it is a series of um, labels that I can use when I collage pieces in the journal. So I'll um, have to now just jump on my sewing machine and re-sew around the edge of all these. So I'll just stop my um, video for a moment. I'll just pause it and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I have finished uh, stitching where they needed to be restitched. I've gone around and re-inked them. Some of them need a little bit more ink where the stitching has gone through and it's exposed the white card. It's all right one side, but if you turn it over, you can see sometimes the white paper on the inside comes through the stitch line. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera. See, see how that looks like there's a little bit of white around the stitching right there so I'm going to just go through all of these pages again and just make sure they're inked properly but they've definitely been cut to size and they are now ready for the new cover which I'm hoping will arrive you know by the end of the week if not next week but that's all good at least we have a plan it's I guess one thing. I've also cornered them because I cut, trimmed them down to size. I needed to get my corner punch out and um, snip the corners so that that's all uniformed. And I was sort of thinking about this Midori style. It's actually not a bad option for my project because this was going to be a travel journal and it still can be. As we sort of build this journal, 
because it's Midori style, I can adapt it to whatever. So if we end up in a few years time making our way to visit Japan, I have a journal that is uh, very easy to pop in my suitcase and take with me and it can be adapted so it can literally change its style and shape well probably not its style but it's its makeup its layout very easily when it's a midori when you start stitching things into spines you're very restricted by the spine and i know that's a problem when i'm doing so stitch panels for my journal of stitchery with the roxy girls my spine is always just too small because my collaging of fabrics and bits and pieces is just can become chunky. So by having a Midori style um, journal, I can adapt it. So I'm loving that idea and it's probably the reason that I settled on the Midori too. Plus if I want to work on a particular page, like paint something or add texture paint or something, I can easily so I seem to have an uneven number of signature pages I'm not sure why that is but anyway that's all good I've got four and three okay so let's grab that journal cover that this one here and now what will happen is I can literally just slide them in now that they've been cut to size they've been reinvented which is today's prompt so i'm loving that the other great thing about these midori uh, binders is you can easily add more and more and because they're canvas this canvas cover gets really flexible and just yummy and it starts to fray and it just starts to become quite an interesting piece in itself now, the piece I did yesterday, as I said, um, does fit perfectly, so I'm loving that. Whether it is on the cover, I don't know yet. It might be on the inside cover, just not sure. But um, I can easily add to this. Now, what I mean by that is the journal will come with these rubber bands. I'm pretty sure it does, unless you buy these separately, which is possible. But if you want to add, let's say, where's that fourth page? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh no. There it is there. So let's say that's your fourth one. So you've got three and three. So these bands, what they do is they place them around a colour, a page, usually in the middle, um, either here or here, or the back or the front. And then you can slide an additional signature in like that. So imagine that was quite thick, full of goodies. That then allows you to add in or tip in another signature. So you could do it there and on the back. So I'll just grab my um, journal I have here that I've done that with, and it'll show you what I mean. So if you can see in there, there's a notebook. And a second notebook that's been uh, added to the um, signature that's already in there. The other thing you can do with these is because Midori is a huge style of journaling out there in the world. You can buy all of these extras that um, can go into your journal to hold things. So I may even have a bit of a look around and see if I can find some of these types of pieces because this would be perfect to hold my fabric scraps and any embellishments that I'd like to use in my journal, especially if you're traveling. And that's like a, an internal sheet with pockets and tucks in it that um, Ranger has part of their Delusions, um, um, what do you call it, product range. So that's little um, pieces of booklets added in via these bands. So very easy to make your own Midori style uh, cover. And I think Rachel is actually doing that in her July um, prompts for the Junk Journal July. So I will leave it at that. We have now 
made a decision about what style of cover I'm going to do and I've resized my papers ready to go into my cover when it arrives. So I'm just going to get rid of that rubber band. That rubber band feels like it's got really loose. It's probably more designed for those workbooks because they're actual booklets that are in there where I haven't sort of got it thick enough yet. So at the moment, this will um, have to come out of here because it's not even the cover we're going to use, but at least, as I said, we have a plan. Okay, so that's reinvent for the 2nd of July. I've reinvented my pages, ready to start my journal series for Meg's Journals Junk Journal July. Okay, everyone. Thank you. Bye.